it is Aliki here from beautiful, picturesque Switzerland. So this trip is extra special because it's my first big proper trip after the Covid travel break and I am reuniting with my bestie. She lives here in Zurich, in Switzerland, so I'm really excited to visit this place and see it kind of from a tourist and a bit of a local perspective. So yesterday uh, late we flew into Zurich and now the first day we are getting out up in the mountains, we are doing a hike, I'm not sure how long it's gonna be uh, but because we are stopping a lot and taking a lot of pictures but so far it's absolutely incredible and it's just, it's just so so beautiful. On our way back to Zurich, we stopped at St. Gallen, which is absolutely beautiful city. It welcomes many international students every year because University of St. Gallen is ranked among the top business universities in the world. So today we are exploring Zurich, which is the biggest city in Switzerland, also has the largest population and it's very well known as being the finance center in Switzerland and it has a very high standard of living. So Switzerland is famous for producing good quality watches, a lot of good brands come from Switzerland. So when we walk the shopping street you can see uh, watch stores one after another. It's a very, very, very popular place where to buy a good watch.
Okay, so I can't speak about public transport in general in Switzerland, but in Zurich it's really, really good. You have trams all around the city that takes you everywhere you want to go. They quite, they go quite often. Also, train traffic is really good too. You can get to farther destinations quite easy. Okay, so the big question, how expensive is Switzerland and Zurich uh, specifically? And I must admit, it is quite expensive. Even the public transport is expensive. If you want to travel the whole day around, there is a one day ticket, which is like the best deal. Um, but in general, the public transport is expensive, food and drinks, like literally everything is quite expensive here. So here are some places that we visited during our trip and that I highly, highly recommend. Switzerland is also famous for its chocolate. Sprungli is one of the most popular brands you will see all over Switzerland, but there are other boutique chocolate shops that you can try. You have to try Luxemburgerli. It was brought to Switzerland by a young pastry chef from Luxembourg, and it's basically a macaroon with a twist. It has a bit more cream in between, so you definitely have to try these ones. They were amazing. Okay, so it wouldn't be a proper trip in Switzerland if we wouldn't try to do an extra hike. So today we are in the suburbs of Zurich and we're gonna reach the highest point in Zurich for the views. Okay, so we are now at the highest, highest point of Zurich and I'm gonna warn you if you're scared from heights, it, it, is, it is quite scary, uh, but the view from up here is absolutely incredible. You can actually see through so it's really, really scary. Thank you for watching this video and stay on for some behind the scenes shots. All around 
the city that takes you everywhere you want. I, I did some um, cinematic stuff. I have a new startup video. <laughs> <laughs> and the description will be in the... Skippity! <laughs> 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 <laughs>